come in Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creation so what we're doing is we're going to finish some pockets off and the tag journal now the, the last time I've put these on since and they're just like the little tags I've not put a lot on um, but we'd put the pocket in there we'd put that multi pocket in we'd put this envelope pocket in And we'd put this side tuck pocket in. So now what I want to do is I want to do um, a gate pocket. Now what I did was I just cut round um, the tags just with a piece, piece of book page. And I covered it with um, napkin. And I've made some little hinges and how I did that was I just measured from there to there because that's where it's going to stick in and that's so that the book the these will hinge open but first of all I want to do some um, stenciling on here so I've got some stencils um, I think we'll use that one. It's like a mark making stencil. Um, it's quite a quite a nice one. So I'm going to use. I think we'll use saltwater taffy. Um, and. That's peeled paint, crushed olive. Let me see what else I've got. I've got some new little. So I've got antique linen. Um, got rusty hinge. I've got salt water taffy there in the normal. Um, I think we'll use twisted citron. And I think we'll use in fact I'll not use the oxide. I'll use the saltwater taffy from these. So I've got a pink one of sorts. Um that one will do for that. And I'm looking for a green one. I'll take this one off. There we are. We have a green one. That will do. And they're just bits of sponges that I have. I've also got some of this um, cut and dry stamping foam that I've had for years. Um, and I mean literally years. So I might try and use some of this because it does need using up, otherwise it might have already dried out. So I'll just cut myself a nice strip because this might work better. And then that will just go in my drawer with everything else. I don't know whether you can still buy that, I'm not sure. <laughs> so we'll do the I think we'll do the antique linen first. Right, we'll try it with this one. These are like hard spongy things. Oh, it does. I'm still gonna try it with this. And you can see I'm going over the strips of um, material, which is fine because it does. It does ink up for it quite well. So that's 
that one. And I think we'll try the twisted, and that's a hard spongy one as well, so I'm not. It's just so that the page doesn't um, look too plain, as you can see. We'll put some green here. And then the saltwater taffy. It's quite a pretty colour, this. And that's a proper sponge, so we can use that. Alright, remember when you're stenciling to hold your stencil down. And I think what I will do is I'll use a bit of I'll use salvage patina is another one I got. So I think we'll put a bit of this at the bottom and we'll see how this goes because it didn't seem to stamp very well. But um, see how it goes on. When book page is a bit yellowy, um, it can alter the, the colours of the the ink as well because obviously the yellowy tinge of the the book page and there we are and if i put that back on there and i go in that one and we'll just put a little bit of there we are so we use salvage patina, saltwater taffy, antique linen and twisted citron and this like mark making. Shove these back in here. I keep these in here because they're, they're just easier to keep together. kept my glue upside down so hopefully it'll work better today yep now so I want my two flaps like that so I'm going to put the, the this one on first I think I'm ready for a new a new refill on that and your pinch wants to go in that way so it opens and that's going to be upside down but it doesn't matter and then what we do is we just line it up just take it just over the edge just so that it doesn't interfere with with anything I'm just sitting down and then
and then just line it up with the page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop my finger in it. I'm going to line this up. And just press it down like that. And just ink along up oh, there, see it's come off there. This is because I've um I've backed up the when I've done the, the pages I've stuck two pages together and I just stuck them with um the glue stick because I was going to stitch around them and I never got round to it and there you are and again I'll do that one And just line it up, just slightly bring it over a little bit, that's too much. But just so you can see it. I think this glue is just not wanting to play. It, it's been, it's travelled with me to Cyprus and back again. And I remember it played up a bit when I got to Cyprus. So I don't know whether it's been on the plane. That's because it goes in the in the hold. I have like a a bag that goes in my case with all the. So I like these things and the thing is I do take that off and I put like a bit of cellophane on so that it is airtight but I think it's the temperature and when you're sticking it on here make sure that it's not going to interfere with your hinges but you're kind of all right with this because we've done the, the binding hinge um So we're all right, and I'm just matching these up a bit. Oh, ah, right. That's not one to stick. See what I mean? I've not had my, so I just put a bit of polythene just to. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on this because it is material. This will just take a little bit longer to, to stick. But you've got more wiggle room with Fabri-Tac. So there, so I can get my two doors perfect. And it's not going to interfere with that. And it will stick to the material nicely. Now, if I wanted, I could carry on. This, and I think I will. Uh, but I think I'll do it with some rusty hinge. It's a little bit darker, so that's the green, the salvage patina, clean one. It's just, and it's a little bit darker and I'm just going over the, I'm 
and we'll get some some of the, the chevrons on and There we are. It's not not greatly done, but it's it's hidden that, and I think what we'll do is we'll do that one, and we'll do it in the saltwater taffy. That's my lips wanting to play tiddlywinks. We'll get some arrows, get some of this like fancy mandala style or flower petal, whichever you want to call it. We'll get some down there. Now, this is going down a bit, so I'm having to press into the, the edge. And there we are. So that looks quite nice there like that. Now you can do a policy pocket closure on that if you want. Um, I've not decided what I want to do yet so I'm just going to leave it at that and what I will do is I'll put a pocket in there so when it opens you've got a pocket for tags. Okay, and then we'll do this one, and I'm going to do this one. This is like bees, um, because I've got some bees that I maybe stick on. I'm going to do this one first, and I'm going to do it in uh, fossilized amber, I think. and do a little bit here and I think we'll do the rusty hinge we'll go a little bit darker um, Just wear it over sneaks over the other the other hinge, that's fine. Because we're going to have a pocket down here anyway, so There we are, and I think we'll do some some numbers in a different colour. Um, how about vintage auto? Oh, I am going to use this one here. Thank you. 
Now, I, these were bought for me, so I don't know where these came from. Um, it was my birthday while I was away, so there was like parcels and everything waiting for me when I came home. Okay. And... I think we'll have that just I'm not sure how doilies rip because this is a bit Then we'll just yeah see this is a bit thin as well this is a bit um gloopy it must be the the different temperatures on the plane it's got to be in there and I will put a B on there um, and I need to put my, my tag tops on and we've got this one and that one so I'm quite pleased with my little tag journal um, I'm not going to use this one, but use the the numbers, I think. That's mostly blue and green, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll have the and do the twisted citron. Patina. It goes on a lot better with it. These are definitely better. So there. And I can either use Mermaid Lagoon or Cracked Pistachio. What do you reckon? Some Mermaid Lagoon. you can see where where i go straight into the ink if you don't want it to go straight you know be so vibrant then just rub your stencil a bit and i'm not pressing that hard um into the ink and there we are quite like that and i like the the gold bit as well. 
looks worked out quite well. Um, and we're going to do, right, let me get one of my other stencils. We've got some of these. Now these are from Aliexpress sleeves, but I never got a chance to use them while I was away because I never took them with me. Um, there's roses. There's, I've not even had a look at them. There's, oh, they look nice, the berries. There's the flowers. The leaves. I think we'll have the leaves. And again, we'll use well, we'll use cracked pistachio on this one. Um, These I got from our um, gel plate. I've not had a chance to play with that yet. <laughs> so I got that for Christmas, my gel plate, and I got brayers and everything for my. I've got some brayers, but I've got some brayers for my, my birthday. Um, some different sizes and I've got absolute a ween of acrylic paint so I can now start playing put that on there and I'm just gonna go in with some the twisted citron I like to mix my inks a bit. And there we are. And I think what I'll do is I'll put a bird on that one. I'm not going to put a pocket because there's a pocket there. Um, I will put some kind of pocket there, but I haven't decided what I'm going to put there yet. So just have a recap of what we've done. We did our get pocket well gate closure we've done stenciling with a little doily tuck we've done some stenciling to match the page but we will put a pocket and i think what i'll do is i'll put a i've got some net somewhere so i think i'll put a net pocket and this one i'm just going to put a bird on because we've got the pocket here and then after that we will put a fastener on which I'm going to put two grommets I think um, or one grommet and a tie round and I've got some little bee I don't know where they are there they are I got them from the range they're only 150 and I think I'll put a little B charm on. I might even put my little dragonfly on that I made with the the BB craft so one of my little fairies because they look nice in there as well but these are more from my fairy journals so I think it'll be a dragonfly and a bee. In fact what I might do is look for some um, yellow beads i think i've got some great big huge chunky yellow beads and i might have a go at making a, a bee if i do if i manage it i will link you all in it and do a video to show you um i think you can buy yellow and black um stripy beads but if not we will make our own so I hope you get something out of this. Um, I hope you try the, the tag journal. 
and it's ideal just for you can either give us a gift or you can keep your tags in it all your new tags and it's like a tag um holder i think it's quite quite nice and it's quite sturdy as well okay so i'll see you in the next video bye